This week we're taking a culinary tour of Oneida Street, starting at Oneida Square and heading south to Chadwick's. Oneida Square is the geographical heart of the city of Utica. Overlooking the square is the historic Soldiers and Sailors Monument. When we visited here in the past, we learned that this was the original site of the Utica College campus. A lot has changed since then. Most recently, the opening of a new Asian market. As we were driving up Oneida Street, a new sign caught our eye for a new establishment. It's called Lucky Mai, and it is a market that is absolutely unbelievable. I've traveled all over the Mohawk Valley, and I have to say I've never seen anything quite like this. You come in here, and there are thousands of items from all over the world. I mean, I saw things that not only, I, I've just never heard of, of these things. For example, lotus bulbs, either fresh or canned. Uh, here I have quail eggs over here. Uh, quail, just plain quail meat, and these are frog legs, and this is goat, and this is lily, lily root, lily stems. You have to come here just to walk these aisles and try these different foods, and meet, by the way, the new owners. Uh, my family's originally from Cambodia. Um, I was born in Providence. Um, and, w and when and did you open the store? About two weeks, two weeks. And um, are you going to be involved in the store at all? Um, yes, ma'am. Every day after school and on weekends. And what do you do here at the store? Um, cashier, uh, unload boxes, go around picking up boxes. I have ton, ton of foods. I have dry food, fresh food, fresh vegetable, and the canned food. Um, like a noodle, I have ton of different kind of noodle, different kind of vegetable for American, for Spanish, for all Asian, Thai, Lao, Cambodian, Korean, Burmese, all nationality. Um, yeah, I like to do a grocery store too, but um, I would like for, you know, for the people around this area too. That's what it means. I'm here at the corner of Oneida Street and Pleasant, and what could be more pleasant than coming into a place that has the finest cheesecake in the world? I've been coming here for 33 years, and Manny's Cheesecake is absolutely, well, it's an institution, and what they sell here and bake here is out of this world. They have all kinds of cheesecake from raspberry to pumpkin. You can even get cheesecake on a stick. Mm. Can I take a bite of this? No? <laughs> Try not to. Mm. <laughs> yep, this is Manny's Cheesecake. Wow. <laughs> Manny's has always been a family-owned enterprise, but I've wondered down through the years where the name Manny's came from. Well, today I finally met somebody who just might know. Manny is my father's dad, my grandfather, and he actually originated this place, started it off. So, well, I've been working here since I was seven years old. It's it's exciting, especially around the holidays, a lot of business and everything. It's just fun, you know, it's just, I don't know, something about the cheesecake that makes the people want to come and it's fun. One of the original drive-ins is right here on Oneida Street. It's the Busy Bee and has been here since the 1940s. I can remember coming here. Back then you could get seven hot dogs for a dollar. Today you can come in and get something that's rather new and different. Uh, these are fried meatballs and the recipe is another secret family recipe. 
created by the owner's grandmother, Nani. Mm. Everything here is local. There's Dino's and Giuseppe's, Saranac, and because it's a barbecue place, going way back to the 1940s, they now use a barbecue sauce made by our very own Juanita Bass. Just trying to find my way back. 